Welcome everyone to the latest edition of the Marianapolis Athletic Department Alumni Interview Series. My name is Andrew Vitale, and I'm the Director of Athletics at Marianapolis. And today I'm here with Marianapolis Class of 2018 and Emmanuel College soccer player, Sean Allen. Sean, thank you for taking the time to speak to me today. Hey, thanks for having me. I've been wanting to do these since I saw the first one. Excellent, excellent. So, Sean, uh, I know you're very proud of this, so I'm going to start here. Uh, you made the jump from third soccer as a freshman uh, to varsity as a sophomore. Uh, what did you learn most in your year on thirds and also in that first year with the varsity team? Well, my freshman year making thirds, you know, that's that's obviously not what I wanted, but it humbled me a lot because I thought I was going to go to this new school and I was going to I was going to be the kid that was really good at soccer and this and that. And then I was on the third team and that that hurt at first. But then I just took it as more of a learning opportunity, you know, so I kind of I got better throughout the year playing thirds. And uh, my goal was always to play varsity. I even wanted to play varsity my freshman year. But um, once I realized that wasn't going to happen, my goal was just to to work hard and make my way up there. So that's how I became the kid that went from there's the varsity, you know? Absolutely. And that first year of varsity play as a sophomore, uh, you played kind of more of a uh, reserve role. Uh, what did you learn in that year uh, that made you have, that enabled you to have a lot more success your junior and senior year? Well, my sophomore year, you know, I didn't, I didn't play that much, but I was, I was definitely one of the smaller kids on the team. And I went from going to third soccer where, you know, not everybody was that great. Some people just needed sports credits, this and that, uh, to an actual, like, an actual really good team. And I was playing against other teams that were really good, and they were a lot bigger and stronger and faster than I was. So I kind of had to develop my game, and I had to improve on it. And that sophomore year really taught me how to do that. What advice would you give to a Marianapolis student who may have started off on thirds or even on JV that has the goal of playing soccer in college? Well, you know, first things first, you get your fitness down. Uh, that helps you out in every aspect of the game. If you're not fit, then you're not going to be able to play that well. You won't be able to play as good as you can normally. So um, fitness is key, number one. Uh, after that, you know, just working hard in practice, listening to your coaches, doing the drills they tell you to do, because even if it doesn't seem like it's going to help you, it probably will. And uh, it's good It's good to learn from those. You'll develop new skills. Uh, also, learning how to play with other kids on your team, because it's not just a one-person team. You know, there's 11 kids on the field. You need to know how to play with all of them. And uh, once you know how each person plays, it makes you better because you know where they're going to be before they even get there. So uh, it's all about, you know, the physicality, uh, fitness, uh, knowing the players you're with, or even knowing the players you're going against, because if you know how somebody on the other team plays, you can kind of counteract that. So your first year at Emmanuel uh, was also a big learning season for you as you played in uh, four games all in reserve role. Um, what was that first year like for you and what did you learn the most out of that first year? So that first year of college was actually kind of like my uh, freshman year at Marianapolis, you know, where, where I was on the third team, except there was only one team in college. I wasn't the star player anymore. You know, like I felt like I was really good my senior year and going into college, I was just going to be able to slide in with the rest of the kids on my team and do just as well or better than them. But when I got there, it was a completely different, completely different take on soccer, really. In high school, it was, you know, you went to your, your one practice a day. You had games on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And, um, you know, that was pretty much it for soccer. But in college, it's, it's video sessions, it's weight room sessions, it's, it's fitness sessions over the summer that you have to do. Otherwise, you're going to be behind everybody else on your team and you're not going to get the same chances that they have. Um, so really, it's, it's just putting in a lot, of, a lot of effort and time. You know, you actually have to dedicate yourself to the sport. So if, if you feel like you're not going to be dedicated, then maybe that's not for you, you know? But um, I learned a lot from that year sitting on the bench. I watched my teammates grow, and my freshman class was 14 freshmen. So that was huge. That hadn't been done in our program before. And um, every single freshman was competing with each other. So while they're your best friends, they're your close friends, you're also in competition with them to play. So uh, it's kind of 
balancing that out, you know, learning how they play so you can play on the field with them better so you get noticed. Um, my freshman year, you know, I, I got subbed in a, a good amount of games. But, um, you know, my sophomore year, I really took off. My coach noticed that I knew how to play with my team, and I started playing a lot more. Excellent segue. Excellent. So you're now coming off of your <laughs> sophomore year. <laughs> I remember year. the question. <laughs> uh, you saw a big in increase in contribution to the team, uh, playing in all 18 games, uh, starting in 13 of them and scoring two goals, playing in the midfield. What have you learned most during these first two years, more in particular this year, uh, that has made you ready for this breakout season uh, and, and a potential breakout season for next year? Yeah, so um, my sophomore year, we had, um, I think we only had one senior leave the, the following year. So it was basically the same team, and that was huge. By my sophomore year, I think it was nine out of the 11 starters were, were sophomores, kids from my grade. So we really took, we kind of took that over. You know, we all knew how to play with each other really well. We were all close friends. Uh, we all took the game super seriously. And, you know, it's, it's not just one person. It's, it's everyone has to do that. Myself, it was putting in time and effort with my coach. You know, like I, I tried to talk to him when I could. Uh, I made sure he knew I was going to the weight room. I was going to the futsal sessions in the, uh, in the winter. Like a lot of off season stuff goes into having a good regular season. And I think that's where we shine. We put in a lot of effort when other teams don't. Other people think it's the off season, but for us, it's the on season. So your freshman year, you guys go 5-11 and 2. This past year, almost 500 at 8-9 and 1. Uh, definitely an improvement with a solid core group of guys returning. You guys only lose three seniors uh, mm -hmm. for next year. How do you feel about the team uh, going into next year and, and the expectations that you guys will have? Uh, the expectation is that we're going to win the championship. You can quote that now, you know, right here. It'll go on the Marianapolis thing. But, um, you know, with the, with the good group of guys we have, we've been playing with each other the past two years. Other teams are just cycling through players. But we've actually had the, uh, the benefit of, you know, playing together freshman, sophomore year. Like, we actually got good minutes. Uh, and then now junior year, we're, we're playing against the schools that are now trying to rotate in their, their, freshmen, and, their freshmen and sophomores. Uh, so I really think that's going to give us advantage. And um, all the other teams we've played, we've played against, you know, like their best players. So we know exactly who we're looking for when we go onto the field. So I think, uh, I think knowing the other teams more, you know, we've played against all of them. We know how to play against all of them. Uh, whereas other kids, you know, uh, new to the program or new to any program won't know what they're getting into when they go see another team, you know, like their, their upperclassmen on the team might say, you know, this guy's good, this guy's this, but they've never seen them play before. So I think that's a lot of it. We're going to have a good season. Awesome. So you were part of the Marianapolis soccer program for four years. Uh, what were some of the things the program did to prepare you for college soccer? And what were some of your fondest memories of being on the team? So uh, honestly, not a lot of people are going to like this when I say it, but the thing that prepared me the most was uh, when Buddy Drew came up in that golf cart over the hills and we knew we were having a Buddy Drew practice. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know, a Buddy Drew practice is the most brutal exercise you'll ever go through. And uh, I, I always loved it. Not everybody loved it. I loved it, but it always brought the team together because, you know, we were all suffering together. You know, we all, we all didn't like Buddy at the time together. Uh, we were all we were all getting stronger, faster. Uh, it was just a, a really good way to bring the team together. And uh, I think that was also like my favorite memories. My favorite memories were always the Buddy Drew practices. That's awesome. Uh, you're now two years removed from your time at Marianapolis. Um, what is your favorite memory of the school and some of the things that you missed the most? Uh, my favorite memory has to be, I'm pretty sure it was my senior year homecoming. On the way to the game, I hadn't scored a hat trick all year. And uh, my dad was talking to me, he said, Sean, if you score a hat trick in this game, I will bring you and all your friends to Hooters afterwards. So I said, say less. I scored my three goals. I think it was in the, in the first half or early in the second half. And uh, Arbor I. Sufi, shout out to Arbor I. Sufi, was sitting on the sideline. Miles had a throw in, Miles Wagner, shout out Miles Wagner. Threw the ball in, or no, Arbor said to me, um, 
Sean, I bet you won't score on this next play. I said, all right, watch. Miles throws the ball in. I run down the sideline. I score. I run right up to Arbor. And I'm like, that's what that is. You know, like I just told him. I was like, I knew I was going to do it. I did it. That was probably my favorite memory. Awesome. Great story. Great story. Uh, Sean, thank you for taking the time uh, to do this today. We hope you and your family continue to stay safe. And we look forward to talking to you again soon. Yeah. Shout out to the Marianapolis community. I love you guys. Some of the best years of my life. Uh, thank you for having me.